Stunt Runner! What is up, guys? So today I'm going to be taking you through Stunt Runner. I'm going to be showing you the different routes that you can take. Hopefully be showing you the fastest routes, along with some of the mechanics like sliding, how that works. And uh, throw in a few Easter eggs that they hid in here at the end. Okay, so before I get started, I want to go over the sliding mechanic because a lot of people don't know how it works exactly. And I didn't know until recently when Rocco told me. So it makes a huge difference knowing how it works. But as you know, you can just slide while you're running around. Pretty fun. And you go about running speed when you're doing that, but you slow down at the end, so it's not really worth doing when you're on the ground. But the slide speed is affected by how high you are coming into a slide. So if you jumped from up here and you hit and then you started sliding, you would be going a lot faster than if you just jumped down and started running. So any time button on the scoreboard to play. So any time that you jump off of a high place to a lower one, you always want to slide because you'll move much faster. Unless you're going around a sharp curve or there's something in your way you might hit because you don't really have any control while you're sliding. But just keep that in mind that anytime you're coming down, you want to slide. All right, so I like the pink slot because it's in the center here, and there's a couple levels like Daring, and I think there's another one, where there is a power-up in the center that's a little bit before either one on the ends, and so you can get that boost just a little bit quicker. Also, if you're on one of these sides and you're trying to get that boost, you kind of have to veer a little bit to the left, which takes just, you know, fractions of a second longer than it would to get there from here, but as we all know, milliseconds count in this Games. So we'll go ahead and get started. Before I go on though, I do want to say that if you grab two at the same time, you're not going to get any extra boost. They don't double or anything. But if you catch one and then you catch that one, it gives you like that fraction of a second faster boost. Three, two, one. All right. Go! Starting out, what you do, you grab these two cans and then this one here. I like to jump off this wall as soon as I hit it because I think that's a little bit faster. Checkpoint. All right, from here, you can either go up the net there or you can go at the billboard. Billboard's really difficult, but it will save you a lot of time. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to grab this can and you want to hit middle, maybe a little left of middle on the sign. Start a wall jump about where the left of the Stunt Runner logo is, and then you can actually jump up on the other side. It takes a little bit of practice. But you can get up here and you can pass that climbing animation right there. Okay, so for this one, what I like to do is I run over here, grab this can, and throw myself all the way up to the top. And as I'm coming up with this hand, I like to reach over here, grab that, and then I'm gonna go straight across to the top of these walls. I'm gonna wait for it to respawn. So you'll grab it and you'll run over here, right up here. And what I'll normally do is I'll kind of throw myself over a little bit and you can wall run right there straight over that net. But you can stop yourself here and then just walk over and jump. And so from here we're going to do a couple wall jumps. We're going to wait to the end of this wall to jump so we can jump on top of that little building and grab that can. And then we're going to cut that corner over there. So we'll do that. Grab it. Jump. Cut the corner. And then hit this wall right here. And then you're up. So for this one, it's much better being in the center because we have that one in the center right there that's going to be able to, you'll be able to grab it just a hair bit sooner than the other people. So I like to be in the middle there, grab that and that, and I just wall run all the way there. You can jump off of it, but be sure to slide coming into here and then grab this one. And for right here, I don't even use this wall, but you can do another jump and slide. Um, they're, they're probably pretty close. I'd have to do more testings. We're down to milliseconds, so it's really hard to tell which is faster. But I usually just grab it and then jump like that. And then from here, immediately cut this corner. We're going to bounce off this bounce pad, grabbing that can for no real reason because I don't think it really helps in this section. We're going to jump straight over to the other bounce pads, and we're going to go straight through that wall. We're going to skip all of this over here. So we'll just grab that, hit that, and then straight up in here. Skips all that. Okay, for this one, we're going to grab both of these cans. Do not do a jump off of that second wall. And you're going to jump on this first bounce pad right here while you still have the boost from that can. Otherwise, it won't work. So, here we go. Once you do that, you can hit this 
and you can skip all the way down here. And that's going to skip all those pads there and that little walkway. But if you do it properly, I usually like to come through this little slot, saves you that little bit, but you will miss this checkpoint. So if you mess up this next one, you will get sent all the way back there. So be careful. But coming through here, you'll grab this and instead of going up this, we're going to go around it with a wall jump on the side. So we're going to grab that and down here, wall run and then jump over here. Pull yourself up and you can make it onto this cart no matter where it's at. So it really doesn't matter waiting on it. You can throw yourself up it. And then I like to try and slide as soon as possible, hit that one on the right and then work my way down. Nice going. Three. Right. So for this one, there's a couple things you can do. One, if you're very good and you know how to do a double wall jump, which is difficult, basically as you're running along the wall, when you get to the very end, your person will go from a wall run animation to a standing animation. When he's in that standing animation, you have to hit the jump button and you'll jump a lot further. You can actually jump up over that first one, or I've seen people even go around it if the platforms don't line up for you. Um, I'm still working on practicing that one and getting it reliable. So I'll also show you how to do it if you go along the platforms. So if you decide to go along the platforms, obviously there's not really a whole lot you can do right here aside from wait. But about halfway through, if you can get over here, you can actually do some wall jumps there, there, and there, and you can save yourself the rest of the trick. Checkpoint. I like to cut this little corner, grab this boost here, straight up the middle, and up here. So what I'm gonna do here is you're gonna grab the center one with the jump, and then you're gonna slide when you hit there off to the right, and then we're gonna do some wall jumps over there. Jump, slide, run up, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, and then walk off, grabbing these. Keep it up. So we're going to go around the side of this because that takes way too long. There are some opening and sliding doors, on, open closing doors on the other side, and there's really no way to judge what's going to happen over there. So just got to be lucky when you're going around, see if your door's open. If it is, go through. If not, jump over to the other side. But I like to hop down here and do a little slide, and then just right through. Okay, from here, those bounce pads take too long, so we're going to do some wall jumps to get up there. Okay. But right here, this wall jump takes too long. So I'm a little bit taller. I can reach that with a jump. Uh, most, If you can, jump and grab that one. If not, you can do a wall jump to grab it, give you a little bit of a boost. It's better than just running down there remaining. and not getting it at all. So I like to jump down here, do a slide. Um, check, check, check point. This is really preference. It depends on how fast you are climbing. I'm not the fastest climber, so I've been going around this way. But if you're really fast climbing, I would go that way. But normally I would slide up in here and then just grab this and jump up here. Grab both of those and just throw yourself at the button. Nice try. <laughs> Two, one. So starting this one out is pretty straightforward. Just grab the can and dodge the little beams here that are going to kill you. Usually if you run through, you can usually get pretty lucky. Cut this corner, it's check, not check, much, check but it point. is a time save. And then sling yourself up here. If you're really good at wall jumping and you're very fast, you can go that way, but I personally, I don't think it's as fast as just going up the walls. So that's what I do. So you'll grab these cans, you're going to do a run, jump, and then you're going to slide up under these things. Hopefully they're up. Um, just judge them. If you can make it, grab that power up. If not, don't get out by them. So you go grab this, you're going to do another slide into this one, slide, and then grab that little can down there. So, throw yourself up, and this is where I would go to a wall jump here. Reach down here, grab that can, and then hit a slide up into this thing, jump, and throw yourself up here. So from here, what I do is I try to avoid that platform. If you can just fall straight down, you're going to save a lot of time, so I try and just fall. Hit this wall here, Check and you can point. actually just throw yourself up. I didn't catch the wall that time, but as you're falling, you can throw yourself up against this wall. And you'll do a little bit of a wall jump so you can hit right here and then throw yourself up. Saves you a little bit of time. In, cut the corner. Grab, slide, grab, slide, grab. I gotta stand really close so this thing doesn't out me. Uh, so what you can do is you can, One yeah, okay. Remaining. You wanna go this way, I would wall jump off of here, grab that, and then jump into it. But if you wanna do a skip, you can grab this one here, 
wall jump over there and you have to do that double wall jump and you can hit this pillar and jump straight across. I'll try and show that. Ten seconds remaining. But um, mostly it's probably just going to be grab this one, wall jump, and jump in here. And these things are lower, lower, upper, so you kind of know the, the rotation. If you see the upper one, you got two lower ones coming to jump over. Yep. So from here, you'll just go under, over, Five, grab one of these, four, wall jump. Three. You can even do a little bit of a slide right there at the end. Nice try. But you got to hit that button as you're going by. It'll save you, you know, fraction of a second. But if you miss the button, you're going to lose it. So with this one, we're going to grab this can here, slide up that structure, and then back down it. And we're going to jump on that pipe, remembering to slide every time we hit down. So grab that, slide, jump, slide, and we're going to jump and grab this net here. Throw yourself up and come up here. We're going to jump down here, slide, jump, slide, jump, wall run up here, and that's going to save us a little bit of time there. And then here's where another big skip is. Instead of going all the way up there, all we're going to do is just go around it. We're going to jump here, and then bounce here. And then from there, straight up over here. Throw yourself up. It's going to save you a ton of time right there. Check, check, check point. Then we're going to grab it. I like to go left because you have two. Remember to slide, jump if you have to, and then slide again when you get down here. Check point. Come through these. We're going to grab this, and we're going to do a jump, 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 and then we're not going to jump on the last one. Do your wall jumps, come up here, and then from here, you're just going to jump straight over there to this one. It's going to save you that guy right there. Remember to slide when you get down here. Grab every one of these. Try and move yourself so that you come down on that button perfectly. All right, starting out, there's not a whole lot you can do other than grab these cans. I like to hit this little platform here, and then throw yourself up here. Try and hit the lower section here so you don't have to pull yourself up, and then hop across these. Then slide once you hit here, give you a little bit of a boost, and then run up here. I like to grab that one, this one, and then jump up here. And if you're quick enough, you can actually turn around, jump on that platform, and then get up that net. And it saves you from having to run around here. Um, but otherwise, just grab this one and that one. Checkpoint. Nets, just throw yourself up as fast as you can. Check, check, checkpoint. So what you can do is you can actually jump on these. And when you get to the top, do a little wall run. You can jump straight across here, and that'll save you from having to do this right here. One minute remaining. Right up there. Remember to slide here. I do a little jump, and then slide. That'll give you another little boost down here. And as soon as you hit the bottom right here, slide again, and that will swing you right up into the button. Nice try. Okay. So for the first Easter egg on Act One. What we're going to do is go to the top of this net here, and you're going to find it right over there. So we're going to walk over here, get a little bit of running room, grab that can, and jump right over here. And what you have is a script for the crime show, episode one, The Pilot. And I'll kind of hold that there. You can freeze it if you want to read the whole thing, but it's pretty neat. 30 seconds remaining. Here's your first Easter egg. And the only way to get back is to die. Okay. You'll feel that in the morning. <laughs> okay, last level here. We're going to go into the second Easter egg, which is through this waterfall on your right. You're just going to run right over here. Hop up and right through. And here we have a behind the scenes kind of thing. You got a few boxes, glow sticks. You have a goblin, of course. That's Fred. And the best thing here is you have squeaky toy. So you can actually take this the, to the end, so. So we'll take him with us. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps you getting your S rank. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hope you'll drop a like and a sub on the channel. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, happy running, guys. I'll catch y'all later.